Hey, it's Palm Peeps, Tough Legend 787 here today to talk about yet another horrible cartoon episode. It's already a list I've done, and I didn't include honorable mentions in that list, I believe. I'm currently somewhere with no Wi-Fi, so I can't really check to make sure there's no honorable mentions, but this is definitely number six. And as you can probably tell from the title, for when I'll be uploading this, when I get Wi-Fi again, it is an episode of The Loud House. I already did my top five worst Loud House episodes. One of my worst videos. Not one of my worst, but definitely at least mediocre. I'd say bad level, but not horrendous level. And I'm not trying to defend my own content. I know it's mostly bad, but I think that's slightly above some of my videos. But this episode of The Loud House is called Yes Man. Now, this episode is very hit or miss. The first few times I watched it, I liked it. But now, <laughs> I don't feel that same care for the episode that I did. I uh, have looked into it more and more, and it just does not work, in my opinion. And the episode plot is, Lincoln is wanting to go to a KISS concert, basically. It's just a ripoff of KISS called Smooch. And then... Uh, his sister, Luna, comes in and asks him, since he's the master of convincing, if he can help her get an old Mick Jagger, again, the show called Mick Swagger shirt, that has sweaty pit stains for some reason. And then, once he tells Luna to play to her strengths, and she tells everyone that she successfully got what she wanted, All's other sisters play the, oh, you care about her but not us, you're a selfish little bitch game. And that is the first huge problem with the episode. Already in three minutes only, I believe, and hit the first little part without any doubt. Then... His sisters all play to their strengths. And not known to Lincoln, well, Lincoln does not know this at that point, but their parents used all their money on every little girl in the house. And not just the little girls, I mean, every single woman in the house that's a child because Lincoln's the only male. Not trying to be misogynistic, that is not misogyny in any way, but still. And then, Lincoln, like I said before, doesn't know that he doesn't have any way to get money from his parents because they used it all on their daughters. Well, he tries to use his presentation to persuade them. Since they don't have any money, they say no. And then another rough patch. He keeps on trying to persuade them with more things like presentations and charts, and they keep on saying no, I would as well. But here's the thing, if I was the parent, I would have told him from the start I didn't have any money to give him. Then he could avoid that whole annoying part of the episode. He could build up to the part that actually comes at the end. Which I find to be what makes this episode not one of the top five worst. But then we get to this part. Lincoln is trying to imitate what his sisters did. And I could see some people finding this slightly humorous, but I find it annoying. Everything that he does has absolutely no variation 
from how his sisters would do it if they were in the exact same position that he was in with wanting to go to a concert or insert band here. Whether it be a kiss ripoff, a T1 a top ripoff, uh, a pad ripoff, uh, an MCR ripoff, which no one can rip off MCR and be as good as them. I'm just going to say that right here, right now. Whether it be any band, anyone who has those strengths will play to them immediately. And Lincoln playing to his sister's strengths, it just wears out its welcome from the first part because there was already so much time spent on him using his own methods multiple times. Then, using his sister's methods, we see it get more and more annoying to the parents as well. And I already said that I would already tell him from the start that I have no money to give him. But, the thing is that you can't do this. That shaves off some time that could be used to developing the story and making it a better episode. Instead, you give us pointless filler that makes the episode worse and more annoying. And then, we finally pass the middle part. Once Lincoln finds out that his parents don't have the money to give him money, he just goes to his bed and wallows around. And then, at night, he looks outside after hearing something from his window and sees his sisters singing a form dressed up like the people in Kiss, or Kiss in the Loud House, Smooch. And, well, the song is a bit cringy, but it's not the worst thing ever. That goes to most of the shit by 21 Pilots and Panic at the Disco. Sue me. And, this is meant to be the whole redemption for his sisters. This is meant to be something to make us feel good about Lincoln getting Lincoln getting what he wanted. I mean, I would not come out of my room. I would not even poke my head out the window if I were him. They ruined everything for him. And that's just not something that someone forgives so easily. And they made it seem like he forgave it easier than anything in his life in that episode. Even if they did somehow get the actual band members to join and start singing that, does it make the song better? No. Then he sees his friends there and his sisters start huddling around him and I'm guessing hug him. But that still doesn't make up for the fact that they did all that to him, being absolutely selfish when he helped them through all of that, getting them what they wanted. And they have absolutely no remorse until he finds out that they don't, well, that they pretty much wasted all the money their parents had. They have absolutely no remorse about using any of that money and don't feel bad at all about taking advantage of what their parents like in order to get their money. And that's another problem with the episode. Lincoln does that too, but in a less annoying and irritating way. <sighs> Sorry, some stuff on my phone. And when you take in all of his ten sisters, it just makes it even more annoying because it's repeated over and over. And then them having absolutely no guilt or remorse for the manipulation they have done. I just... No. I'm not a fan. And... This episode had a lot of potential. Thankfully... Well... I don't consider this a horrible episode like I do every episode in my top five worst Loud House episodes, but this is 
definitely not a good episode. This is what I consider sixth worst and sixth worst, not worse. Sorry. And well, this just tells that the Loud House has a lot of duds, but most of the duds, with a few exceptions, are still okay episodes. For me, this episode gets a 5 out of 10. Would not recommend, but it's a hit or miss, and I guess it could be okay. If you are not me, and don't nitpick everything. Anyways, guys, this has been Typhlosion787, and I'm out of the house. Bye! Well, I stopped recording. Sorry. Anyways, bye.